and trans antiphon. In the resplendent cloud, the Holy Spirit appeared. The Father's voice was heard. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast day of uh, the transfiguration of the Lord. And this Holy Eucharist is offered for the souls of Ronald uh, Pasquini, senior and the junior, and for the soul of Stanley and Celia Michalak. On the beginning of this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone and the Holy One, you alone and the Lord, you alone and the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigurate our full adoption to sonship, grant we pray to your servants that uh, listening to the voice of your, of your beloved Son, we may merit to become coerced with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow and his, the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. 
The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The <coughs> Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. Because of you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a, a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And as he was transfigured before them, his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud east cast a shadow over them, and then the cloud came in a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Peter is one of the most important uh, saints of the Christian tradition. He is the first of the apostles, the rock 
on which Jesus builds the church. The New Testament tells us many things about Peter. In fact, in the Gospels, no another character is mentioned more than Peter with the exception of only Jesus himself. So, what the scriptures tell us about Peter? They tell us that he often speaks up with confidence, that he is just as often wrong. Peter is the one who tries to convince Jesus to avoid the cross. Peter refuses to have his feet washed at the Last Supper. Peter thinks he can walk on the water and sinks. Peter denies Jesus three times during Jesus' trial. And in today's Gospel, Peter is the one who comes up with this bizarre idea of setting up tents on the mountain of transfiguration. When we examine the accidents that refer to Peter, they are one blunder after another. Generally, wherever Peter opens his mouth, he discovers that his feet is in it. Now, it might uh, seem odd that uh, this often misguided disciple should uh, become one of the greatest saints of the church. But flat uh, saints are the best, the best saints because they are like us and teach us how to live. What does Peter teach us? Peter shows us that following Jesus often involves the ability to re-evaluate our convic convictions. Peter regularly speaks up with boldness and confidence. But when uh, he discovers that he is wrong, he is willing to change. In time, he comes to accept that Jesus must bear the cross. He allows uh, Jesus to wash his feet at the Last Supper. He repents of uh, his uh, denial of Jesus during the Passion. He lets go on the strange idea of uh, pitching tents on the mountain. What Peter shows us in that part of uh, discipleship is uh, to re-examine our ideas, learn from our mistakes, and have the capacity to think again. This willingness to change is essential for both spiritual and personal growth. Your spouse says something that irritates you. A son or daughter speaks out of turn, and you are quick to push back and say, this is what is going to happen, this is what is acceptable. Your words are quick and hard, and are and are they the best? Can you, with Peter, think again, swallow your mistake and start over? Every time we face a transition in life, a transition resulting from divorce, retirement, or the loss of a loved one, we can be quick to adopt a conclusion. We claim our grant and say, this is possible and this is not. This is what I will consider and this is what I will not do. But once we see we are standing alone and going nowhere, can we admit with Peter, I jumped too quickly? My thinking was misguided. I think I should reconsider my opinions. Revelating of our thinking is not a sign of weakness. 
it is a sign of maturity and growth. This is why God gives us time to change. So the next time you speak too quickly and find that your food is in your mouth, don't bite down. Remove your food and like Peter, think again. Why? Because this is the another amazing time of transfiguration. Amen. stand. Knowing uh, that his words lead uh, to internal life, we turn to our Father in prayer. For all members of the Church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to further unity and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected leaders, may God help them grow in the virtue of charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may the healing consolation of Christ touch them and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who offer the gift of their time to this faith community, may God bless their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to this pandemic and for all those suffering as a result of it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, for God's protection during this current era of prejudice and rioting, for a return to peace and understanding, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world and for the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any special prayers and petitions we have in our prayer book and for any special petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-loving God, hear the prayers we bring before you today through Christ, our Lord. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor cleanse us from the stain of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatness splendor that boldly from which he shares uh, with all humanity that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what uh, so wonderfully shone forth first in, the, in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the, therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Mark, St. Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we will sh shall see him as he is. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. May the covenant nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yesterday, call to me someone whom I didn't see many, many years. I work with this person as in different country uh, many, many years ago before I, uh, I joined uh, to, the, uh, to the seminary. We work in the same company. And when she called, uh, she said uh, something which is good to share, I think, today. She said to me something like this. You remember, like we worked together in the same company, we were almost in the highest positions in this, in the, in this company. But always you try to say something to me, but I, w I was never listening. And because of that, a lot of my uh, coworkers refuse working with me. Why? Because always I was reported them, but I never talked with them. I was so controlling my husband, so he left. I was trying to change the lives of my children, so they don't talk with me anymore. And right now, I am alone, without job, without family, and the first time in my life, I stop blaming people around me, and I start blaming myself. And she, of course, asked for the prayers. Why I am talking about that? Because very often the moment of the transfiguration in our lives are for, is the moment, like in today's gospel, that we have to start conversation with Jesus. We have to start conversation with people. We don't have something like the privilege be always right. Jesus is, not we. But the moment of the, uh, of the transfiguration during the conversation always is the moment when everything in our lives is changing. Nobody is running away from us. It's coming more. So it's the same moment, like during the transfiguration, we are coming closer to God. We are closer to God. We are closer to people around us. Everything is changing for better, and we are more holy and more human. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in hope and peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus the King. Ave, ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you so much and blessed Transfiguration Day for everyone.